want to catch fish, subscribe to Gene Catcher's Fishing. <laughs>0 is saying it's 0 feet out in front of us which means everything that's that way on the 0 is actually behind the trolling motor so anything that's you know 0 that way is actually out there and then this is showing that way so a lot of times if I see something here on the back side of us I can turn the trolling motor like that and now it'll be on the forefront of the screen so you know, like I said, there's some bait. You can see some bait there in the top corner. And there's some, ooh, there's some fish right there. There's a dang good one. Big smallmouth right there. Found it using the pan optics. There's a school of them out there. Amazing. Oh, big smallmouth. Look at that fish. just literally out here in open water and we're chasing these fish with panoptics I mean that's literally the chasing it's that's the unique thing with this I'm gonna put them back all right yeah, yeah that is a gorgeous bass these fish are out here roaming around on bait and there's there's a school of how many you think are in that school six or seven yeah and we're literally following them we're taking the trolling motor and chasing them and making casts at them and every time we kind of line up that perfect cast and get like you have to almost lead them because they're like showing up on your pan optics and they're moving so fast and you're having to follow them with that trolling motor and what we're doing is literally just like a quarterback would lead a receiver we're throwing it out in front of them and ron that time literally just made the perfect cast saw it falling saw him just collide and he just lifted up and cracked Monster catfish. 
not really a monster. Throw a top water at him? Yeah, they were schooling. That's a good one. Here, literally over 60 foot of water. Just saw this. Oh my gosh! Follow the school. This one, that was a small mouth. Oh, that's sick. That's a, follow the school <laughs> with the bait, and there he is. None, none of that is possible without panoptics. Unless you are an eagle. <laughs> Or an osprey. Or an osprey and have just ridiculous vision. That's a good one, too. That's exactly what I was wondering. I'm like, I wonder. I'm like, I wonder. That's a big one. About same size as the other one, two and three quarters. All right, so we're out here on Lake James again today with Ron. Update, we got about, I'd say 20 fish. Yep. And we're catching them pretty good. We caught some really big smallies this morning. Uh, caught some good largemouth too. We probably have 14-ish pounds in our best five, but right now we're just kind of piddling around some points and they're breaking around us. And this is where, this is like another great example of where I think think that panoptics comes into such play is they're breaking just all out here. They're some breaking in some behind us, but we can get out here and just scan. There's some fish right there. I mean, right in the middle of the water column. And we just keep scanning and I'm just turning that trolling motor head ever so gently, right? And I'm just looking for fish. There's a little school of them right out there you know when these fish are coming up you can get on them throw top water on them but then they go down and you're like oh dang you know what what in the world do i do there's that fish right there guy looks like he's like he's following your uh drop shot but you know this is a great example of like just another another reason why panoptics is so good you can get on those fish when they're schooling but where do they go when they're not schooling you know and now you can keep an eye on them 
talk about settings for the pan optics. Uh, a lot of guys have been asking questions about, you know, what settings am I running and what settings do I look for. I set up Ron's uh, pan optics just like your boys. So his pan optics, his pan optics looks just like mine. But when I go to uh, menu and go to sonar setup, what I what I like to do or turn up, uh, put make it on high. It makes it so much clearer. So watch this. If I hit off. Look, there's just so much going on. And you've got interference and just kind of all kinds of crazy stuff. So I make sure I turn this on high. I want a clear image. So I'm going to hit high. There you go. I'm going to hit high. And you can see from off to high how much it cleans up the screen. So I put it on high. Uh, TVG, I've run off. I, I like the overlay numbers, uh, especially out here on the grid lines because it just gives me, it gives me a good point of reference when I'm casting stuff. But then another thing is if I go to installation, I got orientation forward. If I was gonna look down, I would, I would aim the uh, Panoptics transducer down. But another thing is when I go to sonar setup, appearance to me is huge. And this is the color gain. So like if I turn this up, when I turn up the color gain, it gets real fuzzy. I take my color gain and I keep it around 60%, really 60, 55, 60%. And it, it gets definitely less clutter. I might even take it down some even more. And essentially that's gonna be kind of your sensitivity with the color gain. So then I go done there, go back to sonar setup go back to appearance so bottom fill if you don't like the bottom fill so this is the bottom I like to put the bottom fill on so you have a very discernible bottom so you're like okay that's the bottom because a lot of guys if your bottom fills off you you know a lot of guys are like oh is that bait because there's you know more black down here but if you put your bottom fill if you put your bottom fill on now you see a very distinct bottom I like the grid overlay if you hide the grid overlay, you know, it, it looks really, really clean, but I like the grid overlay because once again, it gives me a point of reference and everything. And then uh, I do hide scroll history. And essentially all I'm doing, you know, like I said, is just keeping it rocking and rolling out here. doubled up is a little bit bigger than mine. <laughs> little pecker head small mouth. Oh, this is small mouth. I thought it was spot. Got me snagged, buddy, but I, don't, I still got. Maybe you got. I hope you got him snagged. God, that's a good one to build. Yeah, another three. Close to it. It is a better one. 